Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show, everybody, presented by Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorney. It's now time to welcome in our good buddy, Eric Wood, for another edition of Chopping Wood. And this week, we're going to take a look at one of the new additions for the Buffalo Bills. They went out and got themselves a number one wide receiver in Stephon Diggs, and this guy is the total package. Eric, what are you most excited to see Diggs bring to this Bills offense? You know, I think Stephon Diggs gives you another guy that can beat man-to-man coverage, something that plagued them a little bit last year. I also think uh, the main thing he brings to the table this year is another deep threat. One, one of the biggest criticisms you could have of the Bills' 2019 offense was the lack of plays made down the field in the passing game. And you bring in a receiver like Stephon Diggs that averaged almost 18 yards of reception last year, goes over 1,000 yards, but he's a definite big play threat every time he's on the field, and, and, and he's a guy that Bills fans are going to be extremely excited about. Well, let's start with those explosive plays. Let's look at some of them from last season. The first one is in week two against Green Bay. What do you see? Yeah, he's simply outrunning the corner here, and this is what you want. And he tracks the ball extremely well in the air, uh, just through uh, uh, an old Louisville Cardinals hands, Jair Alexander there. Uh, but but Stephon Diggs does a great job tracking the deep ball, and, and Kirk Cousins is simply just laying it out there in center field and going to get the ball. Yeah, not only that, but then later on in the fourth quarter against Denver, and you always like to see it in the fourth quarter, a long one for 54 yards. Yeah, absolutely. And this is going against a great corner in Chris Harris, and he's able to beat him over the top again. He tracks the football so well, and he's and he's simply outrunning people. And you see his speed here. He gets Chris Harris to, to, to flip his hips, and as soon as Chris Harris flips there, he's done. He, he's not going to be able to catch Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs able to even throw his hand up. He's not even in a full sprint. He throws his hand up. Um, he gets so open there. Well, like you said, he had a huge game last season against Philadelphia with three touchdowns. One of them was an unbelievable catch in the back of the end zone. When he gets to the red zone, he'd say it's a total package. He's got the deep ball, and he's also a great one in the red zone. He sells this out pattern so hard, comes back in, um, call it whatever you want, uh, some type of skinny post back up the other way, but he sells the out so hard, and the windows get so tight in the red zone for throwing and catching because obviously everything's condensed down there and you don't have to play so deep with the safeties that it's routes like those that win in the red zone. And man, that, that's exciting to watch. And also take a look at this jet sweep on a critical third down. He's uh, brings this to the table as well. Yeah, and this is something that Brian Dayball has shown that he likes to use a lot. Um, you get a lot of jet sweep fakes with Brian Dayball, and he'll also hand it off as well. Isaiah McKenzie's been extremely valuable. We've even seen him give those to Dawson Knox. And here, you have your number one receiver taking one. And in, in, in the reason that I like this play so much is they run it uh, out of a big formation where he's the only receiver on the field. You're not often thinking jet sweep from there. But here, um, against a good Seattle defense, makes a ton of defenders miss. And, and for a guy the last two years who goes over 1,000 yards, you're now seeing uh, the Bills got a true total package in Stephon Diggs when they traded a first-round pick this year for him in the draft. You know, it's one of the things I love about this is when you get into a team in a season like the Buffalo Bills where the expectations are elevated, you need guys that are clutch because you know you're going to be in big moments. Now, everybody remembers the Minneapolis miracle. What do you see from him in the playoffs last year? That miracle was a few years ago, but from last year when they, got, they faced San Francisco in the divisional round, but still, Diggs, when the game is on the line, when these things are tough, he seems to show up. Yeah, when, when you see this, um, just simply outmanning a quarterback like this, Kirk Cousins simply just has him a one-on-one -on -one coverage. He lofts it up. The quarterback's in pretty good position, and, and Stephon Diggs just makes a grown man move to, to, to go back, go against Weatherspoon, and, and make a touchdown catch here in just a phenomenal play. But this is the stuff you love to see when you're a quarterback that you can just simply air it out and you have a lot of trust that he's not going to let Witherspoon make the interception here. Not only does he go back um, and not let the DB make a play on it, he goes and scores a touchdown with it. Eric, it's going to be a fun season. We've got a lot of new weapons and a lot of things to look forward to for the Buffalo Bills. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it, too.